everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Huey. So today's video is going to be a generalized love reading for the Zodiac Leo. Now, um, before we begin, this will be a generalized reading, so it will not resonate with everyone. So definitely check out your rising sign, your moon sign, and also your Venus sign to see if those signs will resonate more. Alright, so we, before we begin, I just wanted to show you what tarot deck that I will be using. I'll be using the Tarot Apocalypsis right here by Eric C. Dunn and Kim Hudgens. And then after that, I will be doing an oracle card reading using the Archangel Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. Alright, so we, before we begin, I would like to do a prayer to cleanse out any negative energies. Archangel Raphael, please come forth, protect me, guide me. Open up my third eye so that I can receive beautiful information for Leo for the month of February. Thank you, Archangel Raphael. Alright, you guys, so let's get started. I am so excited. Okay, so let's see what's in store for Leo for February. Oh, this card actually popped up. Ooh, two of them, so... These have hidden messages, so I will keep those there, and we will refer back to them. And shuffle just a little bit more. Do the Celtic cross spread. Okay, you guys, let's begin. Okay, Leo, the Queen of Wands, right here. As I see, you guys right here are stable. You guys um, are definitely learning from your, you know, um, past experience right here. You guys um, are definitely ready to che teach others on what you guys have learned. So queens are motherly figure. They are nurturing. They are teachers. So usually what wands represent is a learning experience. So you guys definitely learn something and you guys are stable enough and ready to teach it to someone else. So this is a really beautiful card right here. I see that you Leos out there are getting better at, you know, your, um, your emotions and also your ability to learn and grasp things. And also, wands represents fire, and fire is the element for Leo. So this one definitely really resonates with you guys. So let's see what's standing in front of you. So standing in front of you, the king of wands right here. You guys are on the path right here to e be even more stable at a stronger level. You know kings. Kings have everything that they need. Kings are basically like on the top already. In front of you, you guys will be learning so much that you guys will be so stable and nothing can stop you. Also, wands, fire sign as well. So I can see that you are definitely learning from your past mistakes, Leo. I am so happy about that. Okay, so let's see your environment. As of right here, ooh, the lovers. So your environment right now is very loving very um, comforting. You have, you know, comforting friends and families and if you are in a relationship, your relationship is very, very, um, what is it, um, pure. It's very beautiful right now and maybe like, um, you know, like new beginnings as well and um, differences set aside and if you are single, you are ready to be loved by another person and you are ready to find that lover right there. So beautiful, definitely, de de I'm sorry, <laughs> definitely keep it up, Leo. I I'm just like so happy right now that I'm just kind of like tongue tied right now. All right, so let's see your past. So your past right here, the nine of cups right here. So as I see your past, you guys didn't really get as much nurturing and as much emotion as at 
as you want it. Like, you guys, um, really, um, like, your path wasn't really that, you know, great in fulfillment, as I see from here. Um, because, you know, um, as you see here, this card is upside down, and, you know, the cups are just flowing out. And you guys are not getting the fulfillment that you need, the nourishment that you need. You guys just pretty much gave up on emotions for here of the past. And um, it, it was very hurtful. I can definitely see that. It's very hurtful and very malnourished as well. Alright, so let's see what you guys are thinking of. As of right now, you guys are thinking of the Four of Cups right here. So as of right now, you know, you guys... Um, may be still lacking in that emotional aspect right here. Everything else may be good, you know, with your um, soul, with your learning, and also with your environment, but emotional-wise, you guys um, are, um, you know, um, pretty much the water is spilling out of the cup. You guys are lacking, you know, that nourishment that you need. And even in your head, you guys know that you guys need more emotion, need more fulfillment, need more of that, um, what is it? Internal healing right here. So definitely, you guys are feeling that you guys are missing, you know, in that category right there. But, um, you know what? You can always learn. Leo's right here, you guys are definitely learning. As you see, these two cards right here are learning cards. They're very powerful learning cards. And once you learn what you need, this cups will be fulfilled. So, but in your head right now, you may feel like you're not fulfilled, but you are in the road of fulfillment, okay? All right, so let's see tentatively in the future. So in the future, you guys will be escaping a temptation. You guys will be escaping a crisis and a damage. So this is good right here. I can see that because you guys are learning from your past mistakes right here, you guys are able to escape this horrific, you know, for coming right here so I'm really happy about that but definitely always keep an open eye out for any shortcomings that are coming in your way because um, if it's coming it definitely won't be pretty but you guys will be prepared for it based on what I see of the King and Queen of Wands right here so you guys have the stability in your um, learning experience to overcome this devil right here Okay, so let's see these two cards that pop up out of nowhere. Let's see what they say. Ten of Wands right here. So, as I see that you guys have finally broken out of, you know, your sorrow. You guys have broken out of that, you know, um, stubborn of not learning. Because as you can see, if this was right side up, as you can see, he is tied. And he is definitely working hard. There's fire around this. Fire resonates with Leo. But since this card was upside down, you guys have finally accept what you needed to learn in life and you guys have moved on. So that is a really good thing. This is why your learning experience is so strong right now because you guys have definitely moved on to what you guys have been holding in the past right here. Really, really beautiful card. Okay, so upside down strength but at the same time you guys you guys are definitely still lacking in that strength that you need because you know leos uh, are strength and this card represents a leo right here the strength card resonates with leo but since it's upside down you guys haven't really rebuilt your strength yet explain definitely really explain that you guys are not really you know feeling very fulfilled right now because your strength is not back yet so you still, you know, are still learning, but I can guarantee you once you guys are still learning and once you definitely have get to the King of Wands right here, you guys will definitely have your strength back and you guys will definitely have your emotion and your fulfillment back, okay? So don't give up, Leo, because you guys are definitely on the right path right here. You guys have learned from your mistakes and you guys are really growing from it, but you guys are not there yet. You guys are kind of like in the middle right now so keep on pushing and then you guys will get to where you want okay all right so let's see what the angels have for you to you know guide you and encourage you to get to that point that you want okay so i see the energy it's greatest right here so archangels uh, please tell 
us what Leo's needs to do. You are safe, Archangel Michael. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved one, and home. Archangel Michael is protecting you, you guys. The Archangel is protecting you from this devil right here. Okay, this is why this is upside down because your angels are watching over you. This is such good news right here because the angels are really resonated with you. The angels are hearing your cry and your plea for help. And you know what? He will be there to protect you. Archangel Michael will be there to protect you of anything, you know, lower energy, guarding you, protecting you, guarding your loved one, and guarding your home too as well. So very beautiful. So definitely um, keep up spirit, okay? All right, the next card. Passion, Archangel Haniel. Trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. You guys, if you are in love right now, you know, put more passion in it. Definitely trust your intuition and then just really go forth with it. You know, your renewed passion. So maybe you guys have, you know, got all of a relationship or you guys have been, you know, fighting or have differences. You guys probably renewed it. This is why the lover's card right here, because uh, um, your environment right now is a very loved one. This could be either, you know, a relationship love. This can either be friends or family. And, um, and just like your home in general, so something has been renewed. And uh, just uh, make sure you put your all your energy in it and just keep it that way. And also career too. You know, learning, experience, wands as well can represent career because you guys are learning. Maybe this is also your career too as well that you guys are learning from it as well. And you guys have learned from your past mistakes in your career or in your life. So that's why you're moving forward with your passion right here. You're passionate for something. So keep on moving forward, okay Leo? Alright, last card. Counselor, Archangel Ezrael. You are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. As I see, maybe, you know, Leos can really help someone to um, pretty much um, get their life back on track and support them. So this is what I'm seeing. So definitely help out a person if you see them in trouble, okay? I'm sorry you guys, um, I, I was just so into it, but the camera cut off, but let's go back to the counselor right here. So, you know, someone maybe like, you know, from home or from work or someone that's close to you, you know, as of right now, they may be going through something. So definitely um, take a moment to sit down, listen to them, help them because like, you know, Leo is um, like what I think Leo is a, a leader right here. So use all of your learning experience and maybe help this person right here who maybe is going through the same thing as you are. So you will definitely get a lot of blessings from that. So keep a closer eye out to see who is kind of suffering and then just reach out to, and help them. I'm positive that they will be very, very appreciative and you will learn something new about yourself and you will fulfill your cup because of the reward that comes with it, all right? Okay, you guys, so this is the reading for Leo right here. I see that you guys are definitely on the right path. You guys just um, need to be patient because um, whatever that you're doing, you're, you're doing right now is, you know, a very good thing. But you just need to have a little bit more patience so you know, definitely more good things will come. I see that you guys are really learning from your past mistakes, which is awesome. So keep that up, and then everything else will fall into place, all right? Okay, you guys, so this is a generalized love reading for Leo. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up, and also subscribe for more videos. So until next time, bye!